In 1995, Russia showcased a 4 4 tactical vehicle called Gaz 3937 Vodnik to the world. Although this military vehicle is not as well known as vehicles like the Humvee, its modular design is quite distinctive and it can fulfill various roles. It performed well in the Georgian War. The Gaz E3937 is not a completely new development. It is derived from another Russian civilian vehicle called the Gaz E2330 4X4 all-terrain vehicle. Its purpose is to fill the gap between conventional military jeeps and trucks, especially in adapting to the 40 low temperature weather conditions in Russia. Its engine is installed in the front of the vehicle and can be equipped with a 175 horsepower Gaz 562, a 160 horsepower Yam Z460, or a 165 horsepower Eno J07C diesel engine. It is said that other models can also be used. The transmission is a five-speed manual, and the wheels adopt independent suspension. It is equipped with a central tire inflation system and has a ground clearance of 475 millimeters. The vehicle is sealed and has amphibious capabilities. When driving on water, it moves forward by using the wheels to paddle, although the speed is a bit slow. The front cabin module of the vehicle can generally accommodate the driver's position on the left side and another passenger position on the right side. Similar to a van, it also has a half-cab configuration, with a cabin only on the left side of the front of the vehicle, with the driver in the front and one passenger in the back, while the right side is left empty for the engine installation. The front cabin and the rear passenger cabin of the vehicle are separated, which is considered a design failure. However, this facilitates the replacement of the rear cabin module. It is said that Russia has developed more than 20 different modules, such as a troop transport module that can carry 10 soldiers or other cargo, and a combat module with a 120mm heavy mortar, etc. Due to its good carrying capacity, various weapons can be installed on the top of the rear cabin, such as a turret similar to the BPU-1, equipped with a 14.5mm KPV heavy machine gun and a 7.62mm PKT coaxial machine gun, or a BPPU turret, with the main weapon replaced by a 30mm 2A72 autocannon. In addition, some photos also show a version equipped with portable anti-aircraft missiles, which can be used as a mobile air defense weapon. The Gaz 3937 has weak armor protection and can only withstand attacks from small caliber ammunition and artillery shell fragments. The specific armor thickness is unknown, but it is generally believed that it can be penetrated by 12.7 mm ammunition. Russia only began mass production of the Gaz 3937 in 2000. It is equipped by the Russian Armed Forces, and Uruguay has also ordered 48 vehicles. This vehicle has been used in the Georgian War and reportedly appeared in Syria a few years ago. The Gazi 3937 weighs between 6.6 .6 to 7.5 tons with a length of 5.38 meters and a width of 2.6 meters. It has a payload capacity of 1.5 to 2.5 tons, a maximum road speed of 112 kilometers per hour, a maximum water speed of 4 to 5 kilometers per hour, and a maximum range of 1,000 kilometers.